Well, it's an interesting question about peer learning. Um, I did not come to peer learning directly. A peer learning turned out for me to be a, a solution to a challenge. And the challenge I had was uh, dealing with a class that's about leadership and trying to connect leadership to practice. And especially in a case where, where I was thinking about using a large section. Uh, the course I'm teaching has 114 students in it this term. And last year when we offered the course, it had 90 some odd. So uh, in that setting, how do you, the, the challenge became how do you turn um, theory and research knowledge into something that students can practice. So peers became instrumental to that. Uh, and, and, and that led to the creation of a 400 level course where we had discussion session leaders. And then the idea for that actually came from our communications 101 class. And I spoke with Jennifer Hayes prior to even starting to design the class around, around the practices they use. And I adapted what they were doing over in, in COM 101 and it's, it's been very useful for me. Leadership is something that we talk about and uh, we oftentimes have uh, concepts that are not really grounded in reality. And uh, I remember early in my career in college, I had a friend who went to another university, a prestigious private university, for whom at the end of his first semester, he was invited to an event with uh, uh, high profile professionals. And at the event, uh, he was approached by someone who was, in, who was a successful practitioner and in a field that he was interested in. That person uh, essentially walked up to him and said, oh, and my friend's name was Jerry, and he said, Jerry, I understand you're interested in medicine. And uh, my, my friend Jerry said yes, and that became the beginning of a long-term relationship between that professional and that uh, student. I looked at my own undergraduate career, and I never had that sort of thing occur. And I, it always bugged me about how could we do that in a way that would work economically and efficiently at a place like uh, Western Washington University. And, and the solution came uh, around using the internet to connect students with professionals in a way that was structured and also linked to course content. Uh, so, so for the 114 students this year, each person, each student has a professional with whom they work with during the course. Um, managing the relationship between that student and that professional for 114 pairs of people became something that was quite daunting. And uh, in order to make that work, I needed to create an environment where those students were prepared to be able to uh, engage in that professional in a way that was meaningful to, the, to both them and the professional. So the, the solution to that became having a group of peers, uh, uh, essentially accomplished seniors from at Western engage in a course on entitled Leadership and Pedagogy, where they, they learn leadership and facilitation skills and are charged with uh, facilitating this learning for the students in the, in the 101 class, the introductory course. So that bit of, a, you might say, jealousy on my part as a young student for my friend who was at a uh, private school uh, came full circle in developing this approach. So I joined this uh, as quickly as I could. As soon as Joe gave me the opportunity, I said, absolutely, I'm in. I feel that having a mentor that's possibly doing something that you want to do after your academic experience is one of the most rewarding and fulfilling experiences that a student can have. And I remember all the way back to middle school and high school, especially in math class, students would always say, how does this apply to the real world? And the teacher would always just have to say, trust me, someday you'll understand. And through the mentor experience, it's immediate. You can say, as a student, here's what I'm learning in class. How does this affect you in your professional life? And the mentor can write back and say, oh, there's so many applications. This email would be way too long. Let me just give you a couple examples. And I'm actually jealous that Western didn't have this when I was a student here, because watching the students the first week of class be hesitant to contact their mentor or initiate a conversation to the end of the quarter where they realize that time's running out and they need to write as much as they can and try to get as much out of the experience as they can in just a 10 week period to watch that transition is awesome. And I wish that I had that and I, I hope that all the students realize how lucky they are.
I feel that the more perspectives we have on a topic and not just the professor telling us what's in the textbook, but here's professionals, here's your peers, here's your discussion session leaders, and here's me. Um, let's all get a full picture on our experiences combined with what the text says about leadership. So it really gathers areas from all that and just throws them into one like pile of a great model of teaching, I feel like.